Um, so, Mayday. Oh, this is making me nervous. This thing. There we go. So, uh, Mayday. So, I love my wife. <laughs> um, so, yes, she's right there. She's fantastic. Um, so, um, we, uh, we moved to, to Memphis about two years ago, and my wife is terrific at finding things that we love to do, right? So uh, we love to find great restaurants or interesting things to do. It's actually uh, my wife that found Spillet originally, and, and we've loved kind of being part of this community for the last year and a half or so. So uh, I credit her with a lot of the things that, that have been kind of our greatest adventures uh, around town, and kind of since we've been together since 2001. So when she... Uh, picked a, a brunch place, a new restaurant that, that we needed to go check out, uh, I was completely on board. Now we live downtown, and there's a place uh, that is right next door to the convention center called Alcinius. And uh, I don't know if anybody's been to Alcinius, but we never had been there. And so we went into, uh, and one of the things that she, she sold me on was that uh, the way she found it is that it was featured on Food Network. Like, okay, you know, usually most of the places that they feature on Food Network are usually pretty good. So. I'm like, okay, and we go in, and uh, there's a woman standing there who is uh, kind of an older black lady, and she's she's not old necessarily, but, but old enough that it's impolite to speculate, you know what I mean? So, um, so she's there, and she introduces herself as Alcinia. And you know, normally when you like go into a place and it's Ralph's, like Ralph's not there, right? Ralph, <laughs> where's that beach, you know what I mean? Or, or you, know, you go into Ted's, and Ted's not there. But sure enough, there's Alcinia standing right there. Welcome, she greets this big smile, and there's nobody else in the restaurant. It's like, I don't know, like 9 30, 9 45 on Saturday morning. And there's nobody else there. So she says, You know, I'm going to grab a seat, and you know, it's just me here today, so bear with me. So, okay, it's no problem. And, and I should say, the restaurant has, I don't know, maybe eight or ten tables. It's kind of a smaller place, and there's a kitchen in the back and register. And we came in, and all the tables were empty. She sits us down. And she, she, she sits us down, she hands us the menu. And she says, what do you want to drink? And she says, coffee and water. And my wife orders uh, hot tea. She says, okay, it's no problem. And she leans over and kisses me on the head. <laughs> and then she leans over and kisses Jamie on the head. And I felt like I was seven years old at my grandma's house. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, that was interesting. Welcome to my space. <laughs> well, okay. And so she toodles back into the back, and she's doing her thing. And uh, another couple comes in, younger couple, and she comes out and not doesn't have my coffee, but she comes back out and she greets them in exactly the same way. She says, "You know, I'm here by myself. You're gonna have to bear with me." And we're gonna go ahead. the good news is, like, we're not in a rush, right? It's Saturday morning. We don't have anything else going on, so we're not in a terrible hurry. But we're a little kind of weirded out by what's happening. So this younger couple sits down and. She, you know, she says, what do you want to drink? She gets their drink orders. She kisses him on the head, kisses her on the head, and off she goes. And so a third couple comes in, and a fourth, and this same process repeats itself. We're now 20, 25 minutes into me being there, and I still don't have coffee. <laughs> and, so, and now she's got like five or six drink orders in the back that she's kind of struggling with. And but, like it's her restaurant, and I don't know what's going on, and she's here by herself. And but clearly, like you know, a ten table, eight, nine table restaurant, like you need a cook, and you need a waitress or a waiter, and, and you know you need to be out there. But it's just her. So this goes on for maybe 25, 30 minutes, and now the restaurant is full. And and finally, my coffee comes, and my water comes, and her tea comes, and and I think the, maybe the first and second couple gets their their drink work. And finally, we're all, all of us are kind of in this room, kind of looking at each other like, what the hell? And, and we feel like she's just this really sweet person. And she's, now she's kissed everybody on the head. So, so we're now like, kind of just like this family, right? Like, we're in this together, you know? But, this, but she's clearly in trouble. So, so, so finally, I'm like, I'm like, I gotta help, right? Because I can't just kind of watch someone struggle. I gotta so I decide that I'm going to get up and I'm going to try to take drink orders. I'm going to try to do whatever it is that I do. And, and I've been a server in the past, but I was terrible at it. Right? I was really, really bad. So, so thankfully, uh, these two younger ladies stand up and I hear them talking to each other. 
and they had both either just been servers or were currently servers, and they had much more experience at this than I had, so I was perfectly happy to let them go up and help. So they go in the back, and they're like, hey, how can we help? And I was just like, oh, okay, great. And, and she starts handing them tickets to run drinks, and, and here these girls come out, and they start taking the food orders. <laughs> and of course, they don't know the menu, right? So we're all just kind of looking at the menu together, like, um, I guess I'll have this and this, and do you have this? I have no idea, right? Yeah. So, but anyway, so we get all the orders in, and they go in the back, and we're maybe, I don't know, an hour into being there, and no orders are just going in. And everyone's, I will say, everybody was pretty cool, right? Like, you go into some places, and like, if the, if the silverware is dirty, or the, you know, the, the server is just like, some people get really agitated, but everybody in this situation was really cool, and I think it started with her, like, introduction, and a big welcome, and a kiss on the hat, and like, Please don't be mad at me because I've managed your expectations by saying you're an after. So everybody was pretty cool. And nobody left. Right? So apparently nobody that day was in a hurry. So nobody left. So this goes on for a while, and finally the food starts to come out, and we, we, everything's going okay. Um, and I decide that, that we want to say thank you to these girls that really helped, right? So I go to the register, and we're the first ones finished because we were the first ones there. And and Alcindia comes to the to the register, and I said, hey, I'd like to pay for their meals. That's kind of a thank you for helping out. And she said, oh, that's very sweet. I was going to let them uh, have their food for free anyway. And I said, you know what, that's okay. Just add it to their tip. And she said, oh, okay, well, that's fine. And I said, did you have somebody call in? Or, you know, I said, I'm trying to figure out why this has been a problem. And she said, well, she said, I, I looked for help for a long time. We couldn't find anybody that wanted to do it every week. So this happens every week. <laughs> and I said, wait, what? And she said, yeah, you know, it gets kind of full, and then people jump up and, and, and help out. <laughs> and every week, and I'm like, this is the best business model ever. <laughs> ever. You don't have workers' comp. You don't have to pay anybody. You just got a, a free bacon and eggs. And the service is done for the Because if, that's how long we were there, like two and a half hours. It was crazy. So, 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 I, uh, so we left, and we were just kind of stunned by the whole thing and just kind of amused because it was this kind of weird experience. So as we were kind of getting ready for this story, we decided we needed to go back and check this out. First, let me say, the food, when it finally did come, was amazing. Right? It was tremendously good. So... So as we were getting ready for the story, we decided to kind of do a, uh, a little research to see if this was continuing. So we went to breakfast at Alcinia's this morning to see what was going to happen. And so we walked in, and Alcinia was there, greeted us at the door again, but there was a server. Okay? And, and breakfast went uh, well, and the food was terrific. And we got our checks, and we went up to the thing, and the, the woman who had waited on us was the woman that we were going to pay. And, and I, said, um, I said, well, this was all really good. And she said, yeah, you know, it's really just her. And, you know, I decided, I'm just friends with her, so I decided to come in and help. I've never really been a server before. <laughs> <laughs> so the business model continues. <laughs> but, but, again, it was really, really great. And the food was terrific. And everybody was really nice. And, and yes, well, after we ordered, Alcinia came out and made a round and kissed everybody on the head. Oh, oh. And as we were walking out the door, she says, you know what, you've been here, you've eaten your family now. Which was about the sweetest thing that you've ever asked for, you know, coming to, to, to somebody's business. And, it, and, I, and I say business, but for her, it was more like I had dinner in her kitchen, right? It was like eating in my grandmother's kitchen. That's what it felt like. And if you get the chance to go to Alcindia's for breakfast or for lunch, go. Uh, don't be in a rush, <laughs> but go. They're, they're super sweet people, and you should absolutely check them out. So thank you very much.